before, so not a clue, you know. I think I saw Wolgin doing a do a video, I mean, in here, but I don't remember much of it to be honest. I've never seen anything on this. No, this seems to become uh, activatable every time you, you do an end. Yeah, that bridge over to the left is up, isn't it? Looks like it's up to the straight ahead. Do we need to click this? I don't know. No, this one's up, yeah. Yeah, they both are. Oh, did I tell you I finally sorted out the quality problem of the videos? Yeah. Prior to getting, prior to getting, uh, before I got on into doing it properly, you know, when we first started doing, recording videos and that, mm -hmm. I used to just upload them to, uh, oh, look at this one coming, charging down. I used uh, Windows Movie Maker to, to upload them, so I used to just use that and upload it. Mm -hmm. And then I started reading on online about different things that you can do and upload, uploading it straight to uh, YouTube and creating visuals. So I started doing that, and there was a setting on Windows Movie Maker for when you saved it to encode it. You, you saved it before you uploaded it to, to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I was using that. I, th I thought nothing of it because it said 1080p, and I didn't look any further down. So I knew the quality was real has been really crap recently. So I'd look at the setting on it. It was it's uploading it at five bits per second. <laughs> it records at fifty. Yeah. Shadow Play records this at 50, 50 BPS. Mm -hmm. It was uploading it at five. So every time you, you moved or to the corner, everything went pixelated and the quality was absolutely bobbins. <laughs> So you just, it was just a set. So yeah, it was just that. So instead of using that and saving it from that, because you can't change the, the setting on that. Whoa, what was that? Oh. Yeah, so I, I'd stop using that and, and just use the save button on it and save it to MP4. And now the quality is back to normal. It's completely as it was before now. Well, Much better. What the hell did that damage then? I don't know. Have they found a new skill these lot or something? Whoa, oh. what? We found a few skills. <laughs> oh. oh, whoa, what? <laughs> well, this is fun. Do you still need the uh, golem stuff? No. <clears throat> Force absorption module. Do we need to know about these, do you think? Because they seem to be doing something with each other. I need to open up this in a second. I'm thinking that there's something going on there that we might need to know about. And this is the Nexus. Right. Right, well I'm taking that we have to run through these. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a trap, but yeah. <laughs> I think they're gonna hurt if you right run run you run. Ain't, run. It, you can tell you what it says. Go on. Ow. 
Ow. Keep running. Ow. That just hurt. Ow. Right, get past these. Then I'll get this. Oh, look at these, need all these as well. Uh -huh, there's plenty of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is the one where he avoided some of these. Okay, now it says in here, uh... He calls these swarming rippers in. Yeah, and they do damage to you. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. The, the thing says to clear them. Alright, we'll clear them then. I mean, I guess if I can out heal it, that'd be one thing, but... Yeah. Might be wise not to take the chance, eh? Right. Ten of twelve. What the hell? Hello. <laughs> Didn't even see you. First, yeah. Doesn't matter, yeah. Just pull the group. They're one group, right? Oh god, yes they are. <laughs> Ow. This is gonna hurt. Nah. Oh. Hello? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so I can't uh, out heal him. Ouch. Let me read that again. Okay, the Swarming Rippers inflict damage at an expo exponential rate. The more the Swarming Rippers hit you, the more damage they, did, they all do. Right. But they don't have much health individually and can be kited. Right. So that's the key, you gotta kite them. So you I, kite, I'll... I'll of course, say, how does a melee, melee character carry it, kite them? <laughs> shoot with an arrow and run in circles? I suppose so, yeah. Use our rules. I'll just pick them off one by one. Right. Well, that's not going to be easy in that enclosed space, is it? Oh, but you get the whole left side. It's like running, uh... the right. Let's 
Just looking to go any no, repairs. Says, this way to dodge is to stay near the wall. What these? Yeah. That works. Yeah, that works. And these haven't respawned either, so we can probably take these. Alright, here we go. Try and kite then, eh? I'll just keep killing them one by one. Easy. Yeah, but there wasn't many of them. <laughs> We're back over to these, where there's loads of them. But do the same thing, yeah, you have a lot more room to kite, too. Yeah. Alright. They are pretty slow, though. Right, I'll try and take them to the right side first. See if they converge on me. Shiny up there. Yeah. You keep kiting, I'm gonna get the shiny. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Yeah, I'm here for you. Keep moving. Oh, got the wrong target. It is. That's a new collection box. I've already collected that for some reason. Let's get out of the box. Yeah. <clears throat> we can't imagine you actually beat me at one. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for this guy, the malign gyro periodically summons non-interactable gyros that, like other gyros you've dealt with, do exponentially exponentially increasing damage. They move slowly, kite them, kite the gyro around the room. So just like you do with those, just kite them. All right, okay. Just kind of, kind of keeping a semi-tight circle so I can heal you. All right, ready. I have to tell me when they come if I don't see them. <laughs> Here they come. And they're on me, so you can fight them. I've got the rippers. Can't target them. Have they gone? Uh, no, they're still following me. Now they're gone. Keep moving. Oh, 
Where am I stuck? Get in there! <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh, and they're still spinning round. Oh, no, they're gone. There they are. My dice again. <laughs> You're rolling 12. Right? <laughs> Absolutely crap my dice. I think I should reload my character to see if I get a different dice. <laughs> but it's not just that character. <laughs> no, it's all my characters. It's me. It's just you. It's this game hates you. It's me. Absolutely useless. <laughs> Okay, uh, real quick before you get out of here. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to go north from the central room, clear the mobs in the hallway. Um, the ether charge automations have a laser attack. Uh, the laser's path will appear as a series of rings in the air, and you have roughly five seconds to get out of the way. Oh, God. Getting hit by the laser does 30,000 damage for each second you're in contact with the laser. So we need to kill him quickly. Uh, and then, the energy delivery module and force absorption modules will come up. The, the FAM, the force absorption module, is fast and has tons of health but does not hit hard. The EDM, the energy delivery module, has low health and runs slowly. But it hits hard. Uh, periodically, the EDM will emote that it plants its feet and prepares to release a beam. The path of beam is will follow as marked by a series of rings, which you have five seconds to get out of the way. If the two get close together, the fam starts throwing you around the room with knockback. Um, start by killing the EDM, run around the fam following you to keep the two apart. Once it's dead, you just get the regular tank on the fam. So EDM first. Okay. I don't know how we're going to keep the two apart. No, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. But the one moves slowly, the fan moves slowly, so you just gotta keep it away. Yeah, so if you keep, if you.